Hello, and welcome to another Why Do I Need That? Where this week I'm looking at Maestro, a computer mouse you use to control your computer like a conductor controls an orchestra. Very good, very good. PowerPoint, watch those transitions. And this is it. Ooh, mousey. But let's take a closer look. It has this little USB receiver you pop into your computer and you wear it on your finger like a big ring. My precious. Then, to activate it, you hold your thumb on the trackpad so it's not constantly spazzing around the screen while you type. You move around the screen in mid-air, similar to how you'd use like a Wii controller, and then do everything you'd normally do with a mouse. Left click, right click, highlight, and scroll. So, as I say, it's just a computer mouse that you wear on your finger. But why do I need that? So the stupid fat hobbits don't get it! Well, I suppose there's that. But otherwise, you need Maestro for avoiding having to sit in the same weird position for too long at work when you're using a conventional mouse, which can cause problems with your neck and your back. Whereas with Maestro, everything is in one position just above the keyboard. Ali, could you hand me those files? Uh, yeah, sure. There you go. When I originally wrote that last bit, my phone decided to autocorrect the word back to the word Bach, the composer. So. Uh, it's a good excuse to have another musical interlude. Oh, I, I thought we were done here. Okay, everyone places from the top, and... You also need Maestro for freaking people out and thinking their laptop has become possessed. You just simply put the receiver in when they're not looking, and then control their computer from a safe distance. And so, ladies and gentlemen of the board, if we move on to slide six, we will see that in conclusion, the... what's happening now? The, it seems to be going to my browser history. Uh, no, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, this is not part of the presentation. I've never, I've never even heard of those websites. Sorry, one second. Maestro becomes like a part of you every time you put it on, and you can control machines, so it's almost like you're plugging yourself into the matrix. Okay, time to get some work done. Wait a minute. It's all clear to me now. There is no spoon. But that's not going to help me get my tax returns done, so I should probably, should probably get back to work. And finally, you need Maestro because it kind of looks and feels like some sort of futuristic weapon. So you could develop games to specifically make use of it, like a modern reboot of Duck Hunt. Screw you, dog, with your laughing. Although if this really was a weapon, um, I wonder what you'd call it. So it's like a, it's like a sort of gun that lives on your finger. I suppose like, um, I suppose like a finger blaster. And so if you were using it on yourself repeatedly, it would be like you were sort of rigorously finger blasting yourself. So make of that what you will. Tee -hee. Now I got my Maestro from the original Kickstarter campaign, but if you want to buy one for yourself or learn more about it, then head over to maestro.com and check it out. Please do give a thumbs up to this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, click, for other weird videos like this one. And do leave me a comment telling me what you would use Maestro for yourself if you had one. That's it for this week. Until next time, gadget fans. Bye!